Let's pick up the pace. 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 You pick the place. You pick the place. You pick the place. Making a virtual cancer walk is a very interesting challenge. There's still a, a big risk for COVID uh, infection in the community, and particularly a lot of the participants in the cancer walk tend to be cancer survivors or patients who are actually undergoing treatment. We really don't want to have any unnecessary risks for these patients who work so hard to, to cure. Hi everybody, my name is Julie and I am here today to represent Team Nate the Great. Team Nate the Great for the UMass Cancer Virtual Walk and Run this year. Team Nate the Great has been representing at the Cancer Walk since 2014. This is in honor of my uncle Nate, who is Nate the Great, who lost his battle with cancer in December of 2013. Despite the pandemic and the effect it's had on all of our lives, cancer is still out there. It is still taking people's lives in the same way it was last year. Our faculty and our nurse practitioners and social workers and child life workers, the whole team has worked uh, exceptionally hard to continue to ensure that all the children in central Massachusetts have outstanding pediatric oncology care. Cancer is is every bit the enemy that, that COVID is, if, if not more so. Cancer is still expected to, to take far more lives this year than even COVID. Patients have really wanted to try to avoid coming to the hospital or even to the clinics. And as a result, in some cases, we've seen sicker or more advanced cases. So our palliative care team has really been champions of ensuring that people and their loved ones be connected as much as possible by using creative solutions through technology and virtual chats. My life has been affected by cancer in so many ways. I lost my grampy in 2003 to liver cancer, and I lost my mother in 2018 to ovarian cancer. I strongly support the research at UMass because without it, they wouldn't come up with the treatments to help people like my mom survive cancer for eight and a half years. We started as Hope and Honor in 2004, I believe, after I lost my grandfather, and there's only about a dozen of us. We are now up to about 60 people. This was our team last year at the walk. It consists of aunts and uncles, cousins, brothers, sisters, my husband, my son, and my daughter. Today, principally through genome sequencing, we have an unprecedented understanding of all of the changes uh, in a cancer cell uh, that makes it different from a normal cell. Cancer is a remarkably diverse disease and that even a specific type of cancer differs tremendously from one patient to another and can change and evolve rapidly, particularly when you start treating it. So that makes it a challenge, but we really understand now much, much better than we ever did. UMass has clinical trials, multiple clinical trials. It's cutting edge cancer research being done right here in central Massachusetts with some of the brightest people in the world. We actually are on the cusp of opening a number of exciting clinical trials, of brand new agents that have not been tested in any other diseases that we're about to roll out here at UMass. We're also on the cusp of introducing these CAR T cells, these are the basically the re-engineered immune cells taken from the patient themselves that are now uh, re repurposed to target cancer directly. We are making incredible advancements in science and in terms of developing new therapies for cancers that were previously very difficult to treat. And the ability to cure most children with acute leukemia and now a lot of our focus is shifting to the tougher, tougher cancers, like the solid tumors. The, the field is moving ahead pretty quickly. The Cancer Walk is really crucial to our new fellowship program for physician specialists in palliative care. It can promote survival in people living with cancer, and we're here to help them every step of the way so that they can get their cancer treatment successfully, to treat their symptoms of pain and nausea, shortness of breath, any other physical symptoms, to help them feel better and live their lives. I was diagnosed with multiple myeloma 
three years and one month ago. In my case, it settled into the bones and it led to fractures in my spine. And so I couldn't walk. I was in massive pain. But once I was diagnosed, I felt like there was an answer. What I was struck by immediately is the community here and how everybody really rallied around. Um, you know, it was a pretty scary diagnosis. I mean, multiple myeloma is incurable. It is fairly treatable now, so there have been a lot of therapeutic development. I actually teach about that in the classroom too now, which has been very nice. I had all my treatment here because I, I work here. Uh, this is my community. My, my doctor is my colleague. This is a very difficult time for researchers who have relied in the past on the generosity of donors and fundraisers to fund the research that's making a difference, that's improving survival rates. Once we're past this pandemic, cancer will still be near the top of the list. And whatever we can do, I think is critical. There's a lot of competing interests for, for research money. Obviously, COVID needs to be worked on. And all of that puts a stress on our research infrastructure in terms of the, the, the what kind of research protocols, what kind of oncology protocols we have money to open. Unfortunately for most of the diseases that we take care of, our standard of care is simply not sufficient. Part of our routine care is to incorporate clinical trials and, and to really uh, have cutting edge therapies and beyond cutting edge available to us. And the cancer walk is absolutely essential for that. Being involved in, in an event like this and giving back to the community and right here in central Massachusetts was so powerful, so meaningful to us uh, to be able to advance uh, what we already have here and grow it. Grow it in, in terms of the productive research being done, but also letting folks know that we've got this resource right here in central Massachusetts. It's a real motivator for us. And it's a part of the reason I think so many folks are willing to to get involved and to help out. I feel like the pandemic has caused an even wider audience of folks to feel this real compulsion to help and not know how to help. This is a real meaningful way to help. Granted, not part of the pandemic, but still a disease that is gonna take thousands of lives right here in central Massachusetts. Team Cross Now Cancer supports cancer research at UMass because in May 2015, when my dad was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia, AML, we were so impressed with the immediate care and excellent treatment that he received from the team of doctors and nurses. When my dad was a patient up on the eighth floor, we were able to see the UMass Cancer Walk and Run taking place from his window. We were so inspired by all of the team shirts and everyone out there. The following year, we were able to join that group of people led by my dad as a cancer survivor. He led us on the five mile loop walk and it was so inspiring to see the whole team come together. Ever since then, we've looked forward to the Cancer Walk every single fall. Um, it's become a, an anniversary of my dad's bone marrow transplant, and so it's really a celebratory time for our, our entire family. And a virtual cancer walk is a great way of showing how central Massachusetts um, can come together and the whole Worcester community can come together to support pediatric patients as well as our adult patients who are going through really rough, rough times. As people live with cancer, as the people who love them are caring for them, and all of us healthcare workers, and through this pandemic, so that we can get beyond and continue to be able to provide excellent cancer care through all of this. The major use of the funding we get from the walk is to support clinical trials here at UMass. So it's essential for our efforts. We are literally seeing uh, huge advances these are, are treatments for people that may not have any other options. Truly, these are life-saving dollars. Our team, Tate Strong, is in honor of my father, who is now in remission due to all your generous donations and the incredible UMass Cancer Team. Diagnosed in March 2017 with stage four head and neck cancer that metastasized to his spine, our family was completely devastated, like so many others that have had to hear this news. 
Although he knew the road ahead of him was long and tough, he always had one motto, to never back down. He always found a way to smile, found a new way to make us all laugh, and impressed the nurses and doctors throughout the way. Often his strength is what helped all of us. After months of chemo and radiation, we were lucky enough to hear those words. Dave, you are a miracle and you are cancer free. The sound of a bell has never sounded so good. In times like today, it is important that we remember, even though we cannot be together in person, we can make an impact and support each other from afar.